Let's look at how you can create a splash form and then you wrap up or you set the access options once your project is complete. So guys, what I mean is that uh, I have already created my switchboard, my main form or my dashboard. So this is my dashboard, but I need a solution whereby when the system throws, uh, these ones are not still. So I need to do something on that so that this is, this is called the navigation pane and also the dashboard should not be the first thing. So guys, I need to create a splash form. So I can just go to create, then I can just go to more forms, then mode or dialogue. Then I need to move these two buttons, that is the, the OK button and the cancel button. Then guys, after doing that, I can right click to give me the back field color. I need it to be green. Then you can just go to uh, this position here. You can just go to this position, take the ribbon, then type my heading here. <coughs> so my heading is airline management. Then I click, uh, I click outside, then we set the label, go to format, then arrange, change the color. Then after doing that one, I can just go to uh, this point here and increase the, the font size. Then I can go to change this one to add in to D, so that it can be borrowed, that is to have it borrowed. Then uh, size 20. So this is my splash form. Then I can just include the word rolling. Around 
tour menu, you also remove allow this option right? when you click on OK. Then you get this message. You see now this point, instead of saying Microsoft Access, it changes to the name you give your database. So I click on OK. Then now, guys, I can close my system, then open it again. See what happens. You see the trash form rolls, then the dash. And your system, guys, for that case, it is stuck. You can stop and go. Guys, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so for me, or to write, share, and comment on my video. Guys, thank you.